Hi everyone, my name is Haley. I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio, and I am currently a freshman at Barnard College studying psychology, and I am here to take you around campus today. So Barnard is a very small college consisting of about 2,600 students, um, and the buildings are all very close together. It's a small campus, and I love that. It's so easy to get to my classes or wherever I'm going. Um, like the other day, I had a doctor's appointment, and I, and I literally walked downstairs to visit the health clinic. And sorry it's loud, there's a lot of construction going on. Um, but yeah, it just feels like such a tight-knit community because the campus is so small. So I am someone who loves working out in the morning and it's really easy to do um, because the Barnard Gym is in Barnard Hall, which is right outside of like all the freshman dorms. Um, so all of my favorite study spots are actually off campus, but they're within like five to seven blocks. So it really doesn't take that long to get to them. Um, and I just find them a lot more relaxing and stress-free. So one of my favorite places is Nuff Home and Woo. They have really, really, really good bagels. Um, sometimes their Wi-Fi is a little eh, but um, this is what it looks like. They just have like really, really amazing food. Um, it can get kind of loud in here, but it's one of my favorite places to eat and to study. So this is another one of my favorite study spots called Hungary. So this is Barnard Hall, one of the main buildings on campus, and there are a ton of classrooms in here, a gym, Hewitt Dining Hall, our main dining hall, and a temporary library. So I'm going to show you around Barnard's current library. Um, it's pretty small, but there is a 40,000 square foot one being built right now. That's why there's so much construction on campus. It's opening in August 2018. So I'm getting ready to head over to Hewitt Dining Hall, and in my opinion, Hewitt sucks. I think the Barnard Dining Halls are pretty bad. I'm just gonna be honest. If having really high quality food is essential to you, and it will be for these next four years, um, maybe don't come to Barnard. Because the, I mean, I think most people agree with me that the food is pretty low quality. I'm a little dramatic about it, but uh, we also have access to Columbia Dining Halls, so I choose to eat over. After I got into Barnard, I was actually a little scared to come here because I was worried it was going to be too hard, which was a ridiculous fear looking back on it now. I think my senior year of high school was actually harder than freshman year, but most of that is because I'm a psych major. It really depends on the classes you're taking, so if you're a pre-med neuro major, it's going to be a lot harder than a major. So right now I'm kind of breezing through freshman year, thankfully, but it really depends on what your major is and what classes you want to take. And yeah, the difficulty of Barnard is something that's really hard to quantify and it is for all colleges. But I'm going to show you a room that I study in um, when I actually am studying. I love it, it's actually the place I went to during midnight breakfast. So this is what a typical lounge looks like. There's a TV. We have a kitchen, there is no fridge though, so it's important to get your own mini fridge. This is a good place to study, and also the RAs hold different events in here throughout the year, um, and they always have like free insomnia cookies and stuff like that. Right now, I am in my favorite building on campus called the Diana Center, and this is my favorite building because they have the best food and the best study rooms. So sometimes during midterms, or finals or whatever, I come here at like noon and literally stay here until midnight because it forces me to be productive and everything I need is in this building. So one of the things I like about it is they hold a lot of really cool events here during the year. The best one being midnight breakfast. They basically bring in all the breakfast food you could imagine and you can take it and go somewhere else and study. It's amazing. They also have the Diana Center Cafe in here and Liz's Place, which are both better options than Hewitt Dining Hall. So I'm gonna show you Liz's. 
So this is Liz's place um, and they have Starbucks coffee here along with a lot of pastries that you can get throughout the day and it's open until midnight every night. So I just finished a club meeting for Peer Health Exchange at Columbia and all of these students are Columbia students except for Dana over here. Hi. So tell me about yourself. <laughs> My name's Dana, I'm a sophomore at Barnard College. Um, I'm a women's studies and history double major. So what made you choose Barnard? Um, I went to, I'm actually a transfer student, um, and I went to an all-girls high school, and I really did love my freshman year, and I applied here just because I wanted to find the all-girls environment again, um, and I really liked my, the campus tour and like the people that I spoke to that went here, um, yeah. So what's your favorite part about Barnard? Um, I think my favorite part so far has been like, like the people I've met, um, but specifically the professors. Um, I've made like really strong relationships that I can't imagine would have happened anywhere else, particularly in the cities. And what's your least favorite part? Probably housing, because I don't have housing, and all my friends who are also in housing have a really hard time with it. Um, yeah, and also like the sign-in <laughs> process is involved in housing too. It's like, because we do share so many resources with Columbia, I highly recommend checking out the Campus Reel videos for Columbia University.